previously on Big Brother. Shannon, I nominated you, and well, I nominated you. Hardy's reign as head of household made him a marked man. Just put a big fat X on his back. And shook the foundation of the house. That's not the point. The point is, oh, wow. is you went Too like bad. a two-year-old so and sad. broke my property. With Shannon and Will on the hot seat, Chilltown started to melt. I mean, your mouth runs like all day long. <laughs> while the others reveled in their newfound power. <laughs> Meanwhile, Krista remained evasive about her loyalty. I like something about everybody in here. And started getting closer to Mike. When it came down to the vote, Shannon was the fourth house guest to exit, leaving Will without his bedfellow. Your eviction will be avenged with great wrath. Count on it. And the other people with a bittersweet victory. After Mike and Kent battled for the head of household title, Kent surprised everyone and claimed the coveted power position. Now, it's Kent's turn to nominate two house guests for eviction. Who will he choose? Find out tonight on Big Brother 2. If anyone was a coward in that room, it was me. You know, I just kept my mouth shut uh, the whole week and let things fall where they did. This has been such an emotional day for me. I know it is. I mean, Shannon leaving alone. By a vote of six to zero, there we Shannon, go. you are evicted from the Big Brother house. I'm just not a person who expresses their feelings very well. I don't know if I possess emotions. If I do, I think that I am longing for her. You know, I really miss her a lot. I think my actions speak louder than words. I think the world is Shannon, and I think I express that in my, in my body language. To be honest, I, when Shannon was leaving, I was about to just leave, too. I mean, I just want to, like, shake their hands and, and just be like, just, I don't, just understand that, like, this is just a game. Like, this is why we're here. You signed on a dotted line. You know what we signed up for. And don't lose sight of that, you know? I'm not trying to break up any couple or anything like that. I just don't understand. Shannon, Shannon, Shannon. Don't worry, bud. Good luck. Thank you, buddy. She walked out of here with her head up. She was honest, and she left. And I walked in here with my head up. I've had to lie, you know, cheat, steal, be, you know, devious the whole time. And I'm probably going to walk out with my head down. You voted out. You walked through the door. Later. Dude, let me tell you, it's she's hard, a trooper, man. She, she kept her chin up. She picked her bags smile. up, walked out, she's you know? like a Maori. A Maori. <laughs> All right. You'll see her soon. I like Shannon, you know, and um, I got along well with her, and she, I, I've got nothing bad to say about her. I'm sad to see her gone, you know, regardless of what anyone else says. So, Will, how can we fill the Shannon void anyway? No, it's not like that. I mean, yeah, I came here, and in many ways, you know, I, I became different because she was here, you know, and now I'm back to <laughs> being the same. Okay. Uh, being a d Yeah, and I just need a day to be a d <laughs> Now that I'm single, I'm going to try to hook up with Nicole. <laughs> I'll kick your ass sideways. Do you think it's going to happen like that? We'll have to see. You know, in here it's tough because you got to say goodbye to someone you just spent intense, intense, intense hours of bonding with, and then a half hour later you got to fight for your life in the head of household competitions. What was the total cost in dollars and cents of all the groceries you bought? The first thing that I thought was, oh my God, Mike runs a restaurant. Kent is the winner. The answer is <laughs> He knows exactly what this stuff costs. I probably have not grocery shopped in two years. $187. $187. <laughs> Who does the grocery shopping at your restaurant? <laughs> All I popped in my mind was pasta. Idiot. Bunt cakes. Damn. Grapes. Idiot. Two weeks in a row now, I've been in it at the very end, and both weeks I've put myself in a position to win, and both weeks I just came up a little bit short. My team, the real people in the house, uh, I looked over at them and all of them were sitting there like, because I knew that if I answered incorrectly and Mike got head of the household, one of us were gone. And uh, so I felt kind of like I had their lives in the house uh, in my hands, and so it was a great responsibility, and I was uh, deliriously happy that it happened the way it did. Don't hate me because I'm intelligent.
unbelievable. Two weeks in a row, one question. Here you go, guys. I have an open door policy. Wide open. Kent winning the head of the household is an abomination. Somehow, some way, the stars aligned with the earth and this man won a competition. I will wear my crown with the greatest of grace and dignity. Daddy's handling his power as HOH just as I assumed he would. It's all a big joke. He's going around pitching like the old man that, that smokes too many cigarettes and why don't I have this, why don't I have that? Because that's what he does, you know? <laughs> the head of the household is an absolute treat. Unsalted cocktail peanuts. Ken is a curmudgeon. He's, he's an old ingrate. You know, you could give the guy 20 pillows to sleep on, but he'd need 21. No hate me because I'm beautiful. This is waffle cone. I like butter pecan. I think Kent loves being head of the household. And leave me some. All right. Give me a bite. All right. I gave you a good one, too. Mm. He is like a little kid in the candy store. I don't see no goodies. Oh, my God, there ain't no goodies. Oh, strawberries and stuff. Now, what is this? Kent's um, not shy about complaining. Fruit. You guys know I don't like fruit. Not even any mints on this tray. This, don't look at me. This disrespect that I'm getting around here is getting a little old. I wouldn't be surprised if he like assigned chores or something. Brie cheese, strawberries, and blueberries. Y'all don't know this redneck. It is going to be a nightmare around her. Kent, why? Sounds like they, they gave you a bunch of fruity food. They did give me fruity you know, food. It's like you were gay or something. So that'd be out for snack with corn. Mm. They gave me a bunch of gay if food. Gay. Yep. Yeah. God, they gave me gay food. No beer. Caffeine-free Coke. <laughs> what, what? Is that what you drink? A lot of people in here really get annoyed by Kent's mouth. I don't read champagne. I drink champagne. <laughs> I drink beer. Coors Light. Beer. God. Will you quit bitching? Dude, you people ain't paying attention to me. If I don't get 12 Coors Lights... Well, we if you don't get 12 beers, beers you're going to what? I'll throw such a hissy fit. <laughs> Even Punk, you'll be embarrassed. <laughs> well, buddy. The fun continues. It's still your best friend, right? <laughs> I don't even know you. <laughs> Kent came to me and uh, asked me who I felt uh, should be nominated. What do you think? Mike and Lou or Mike and Crystal? Sir, I cannot make this call for you. I want something that you need to make for yourself. I'm gonna think about it, but I, don't, I can't. I can't do it myself. King Tut. You got the head of house on that. Who would ever thought some? Sh no, no, nah, honey. That's what folks are like. Who? Hey, this my strategy. I didn't want to win the first couple. See, I want to win this. <laughs> this is the one I want. I do want to ask you something. Go ahead. Be about it. I got a choice either. You know, Will and Mike, which that would be just unimaginative. Then again, I do owe Krista. If it was Krista and Mike, it'd still be Mike gone. We'd decide who the hell would go, and you'd be Mike, but at least Krista would have to sweat the damn small stuff for a week. Okay. Uh, or I could put Hardy up against Mike and make it like a his, his get back, you know what I mean? Because Mike would go, but that would be Hardy versus Mike, and you know Mike would go. Right. Because we got all the votes. But what's your opinion? I'm playing the game the way I live my life, and that is uh, straight up. At this point in time, I'm simply general of top uh, this week. Uh, next week, I'll be a foot soldier again. Now Kent is starting, starting to worry me about his responsibility of nominating two people for eviction. This would be so evil. Bunky and Mike. Oh. How does Bunky feel about that? I don't know why. I don't know what he's thinking. I know what he's saying. Um, he's suggesting that he nominate me. Bunky and Mike. <laughs> oh. You should do that. Bunky and Mike. Because that would be such a... Oh. The, the, the super fag throws my That would be such an insult. The fag throws my... <sighs> That's such good. an insult. Would 